Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study even and odd numbers. Now, here we have two children, Ted and Anne, and they're going to try to share certain things evenly, so that each one gets the same amount. For example, if we have four raspberries, can they share those four raspberries evenly? Yes, they can, because I can draw two for Ted and two for Anne. See, both get the same amount. So, then we say that four is an even number, okay? Because four things can be shared evenly when you have two people sharing. Now, how about these blueberries? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blueberries, can you share them evenly? Or can they share them evenly? Let's say that I put three here and three here, but that makes six. And now there's, there's seven of them, see? So... I cannot put, you know, if I put one here, then Ted has one more. Or if I put it here, then Anne would have one more, so it wouldn't be an even sharing. So therefore, I cannot share these. They cannot share these seven blueberries evenly. So seven is not an even number. This didn't work out, okay? How about five cars? The same thing happens. I could give two to Ted, two to Anne, and one would be left over. So 5 is not an even number. We say it is an odd number. Odd number. Over here, 6 hearts. Can they share them evenly? This time it works out just fine. 3 here and 3 here, right? A total of 6. So 6 is an even number. If you can share evenly, it's an even number. If two people can share x things, this is like any number here x things evenly, then x is an even number. If not, x is an odd number. And um, let's see over there what else they can share. Matthew? Oh, he's saying they could share math problems evenly. Well, yeah, maybe. But you know what, Matthew? Let's say that if I give Anne 10 math problems to solve, actually, I don't want Anne to share them evenly or share them at all with anybody. I want Anne to solve them. You know, if your teacher gives you math problems, then don't share. Don't share evenly at all, at all. Is 10 an even or odd number? If you have 10 things, can you share evenly with your friend? Yes, you can, because you can have 5 and 5. So it's an even number. How about 11? Well, 11 is just one more than 10. 10 you could share evenly, but if you have one more than that, then you cannot share evenly. You would have one left over. How about 21? Is it an even or odd number? 20 you can share evenly, right? It would be 10 and 10. But 21, again, you cannot. It would have one left over. So it's an odd number. And then 16. It's an even number because you would have 8 and 8. Now here I have some of the 100 chart. I wrote it up to 50, okay? A number chart and now we're gonna circle all the even numbers here so you will see a pattern first of all now one is an odd number you cannot share evenly if you have one thing but two you can share evenly two things three you cannot share evenly right one two three four you can share evenly five you cannot six is an even number seven is not because it's just one more than six eight you can share evenly 4 and 4. 9, you cannot. 10, you can, because it's 5 and 5. Every, each person would get 5. And so on. 11 is odd. 12 is even. You see, every other number is an even number. So this is how they go in a pattern. And then, of course, the ones I'm not circling are the odd numbers. Forty is an even number because it would be twenty and twenty, right? Forty-two would be twenty-one and twenty-one. Forty-four would be twenty-two and twenty-two, and so on. Okay. You like the pattern, Matthew? He says he does. It's a pretty pattern. Okay. We are done with this lesson, but we will continue with this topic in our next lesson.